All right, guys, we're back today with a little bit of a different video here. We're going to do a quick little walk around of my 06 Kawasaki KLR 650. Uh, this is for people that are looking at KLRs, really. Uh, I know when I was looking for one, I was trying to find videos like this. And uh, now is the time I'm actually selling the bike in a little bit here. So I figured I would just grab a video of it real fast just to maybe help anyone out that uh, wants to buy something like this. So this is an 06 KLR 650. They've been making this general design of the KLR. Uh, since about the 80s so they changed it over to a new design in 08 so uh getting parts for this bike is going to be super easy super reliable bikes super cheap to work on um so just a really all in all good enduro bike it's a bigger bike it's obviously a 650 um so it's got a lot of power really for what it is uh super comfortable it's a, it's a big bike though it's a very big bike uh, i'm six foot one and I can't even put my feet flat on the ground. I know you can adjust the shock back here, but I never ended up doing it. But um, anyhow, previous owner had some bags or something or in the exhaust exhaust plate, put a hole in the uh, side here. But um, other than that, it's pretty clean. Like I said, it's a KLR 650. This one does have 15K on it. Do have a choke right here. Horn, turn signals, high beams, uh, power on and off. Here's the starter, and this is a cut it off. So we have a taller windshield right there. Uh, it's been a good bike. I put new tires on it and new brakes. They're uh, more or less road tires and some EBC brake pads on it last year. I think it takes about three or four quarts of oil. Uh, there's the oil level, obviously, that it's not on right now, but uh, I could probably do an oil change. Uh, this is uh, liquid cooled as well, so there's a radiator up there. Like I said, I had no issues with this. I put about 2,000 miles on it. Um, does have some pegs for a backseat passenger. I put this bag right here for wallet storage and such. I said, we'll start it up here real fast. This one is chain driven. Uh, usually most Enduros are. Uh, I never really took it off road though. So let's have a battery tender plug in right there, which is pretty neat. Battery does sit right back there. And uh, we'll give it a start real fast. It is cold, so I'll probably use the choke there. So, you see, just take it down a little bit. So, so it idles right away, pretty nice. Probably gonna cut off here, but you get it. It's a single compression piston bike. Uh, say for a dirt bike or an enduro, it does have pretty uh, high compression, which is nice for stopping because this is there's a lot of travel here when you hit the brakes. So um, I left it all stock. You can upgrade the lights, but this one is plenty bright for you guys that want to go to the LEDs. Uh, this halogen does the job, and I do have a tall windshield on it as well. So uh, yeah, guys, that's gonna be about it for the enduro though. I just Quick, quick video for anyone looking at something like this. Uh, this have a six and a half gallon tank. I uh, can go close to 300 miles on this thing, so you're not really making a lot of stops. And it is a pretty good highway bike uh, for what it is. I wouldn't recommend it, but um, you can if you would like. See, there's turn signals right there. So I'm gonna miss this one, but it's just time to downsize my uh, collection, if you will. So um, you do have a temperature gauge right there. very uh, torquey little bike so anyways guys hope this helped you out one way or another uh thanks for watching i'll talk to you later